Okay, now we're going to make some 3D forms. So we've already made two-dimensional forms, but what you really want to do with OpenSCAD is you want to make three-dimensional objects. So, just like making your circle, uh, instead of typing the word circle, we're going to type 3D name for a circle, which is sphere. Okay, and we can specify a radius for that sphere. Start with 5, and end with our semicolon. Okay, you got a little sphere there. And of course you could change the number, right, and make a really big sphere. Okay, so again we can specify radius equals, r equals, get the same result, make a diameter, get smaller. Okay, not hard, right? Alright, let's go to something a little more interesting. So we can also do a cylinder. Now the cylinder is going to have a, a few different values. Okay, so the first value Okay, it's going to have three different values. And as you can see, we have the length, 20, is the longest, right? Or the height. And then we have uh, two radii. The first one is going to be in the bottom. So the bottom radius is 5, top radius is 10. So it's not a perfect cylinder, right? They have to be the same. Now it's a perfect cylinder. There you go. Okay, very cool. And of course we could change these values. 30, right? And all that. And we can specify things a little better, right? H equals for height. And instead of R, because we have 2, we're going to need to do R1 equals and R2 equals. There we go. Now if we just want 1, we could just do R equals and get rid of the second one. And then we'll have a perfect cylinder. But if we want to change them, we have to do R1 or R2. Okay, and the order definitely does matter. It's going to be rendered from bottom to top. So the first R1 is going to be in the bottom, R2 is going to be on the top. There we go, very cool. Okay, so next up we have our cube. So we can just type the word cube. In parentheses we can put a number for the size of cube we want. Okay, and then render it out as a very tiny cube. Okay, make it bigger. Okay, there we are. Now, if you use one number, all the sides are going to be the same. It's going to be a perfect cube, right? But cubes have three dimensions. They have a x, a y, and a z, or a length, height, and width. So, you can do three numbers. Again, we're going to need them inside of brackets. Okay, so we can do 4, 8, 16. Okay. Now we have a cube that's not really a cube anymore at all, but we're still going to call it cube, right, that we've modified. So first number is going to be the, the x value, okay, second number is going to be the y value, and the third number is going to be the z value, how high it is, okay, x, y, and z, there you have it, all right. So x is here, y is there, and z is there. If you get disoriented, this is a great button, the reset view. Great way to see that. Okay. All right. So there uh, is how we do our three-dimensional objects.